we want to solve the equation 3x minus the quantity 2x minus 6 times the quantity x plus 1, close parenthesis, close bracket, equals 7x minus 1. So notice that, like we had in the previous problem, and this, this example is very similar. If you look closely, you'll see. When we have two sets of grouping symbols, so we're going to simplify the left-hand side and start from the inside, work our way out. So we have three X minus the quantity two X. So I have to now distribute this negative six. So that's going to give us minus six X minus six. equals 7x minus 1. So now we're going to combine like terms within these grouping symbols, within these brackets. So we have 3x minus the quantity negative 4x minus 6. And again, the right-hand side does not change. The right-hand side is 7x minus 1. So now I distribute the negative 1. So we have 3x plus 4x plus 6 equals 7x minus 1. Combining like terms on the left-hand side, 3x plus 4x is 7x. So we have 7x plus 6 equals 7x minus 1. So you may notice a bit of a problem right now. We're trying to solve for x, if possible. And in order to do that, we want to get all the x's on one side and all the constants on the other. So you may notice now if I were to subtract 7x from both sides, all the variables disappear. And I'm left with the statement 6 equals negative 1, which of course is not true. You can think of that as being a contradiction. So the way we would classify our original equation, it, w it would be an inconsistent. It is an inconsistent equation. Okay. So as a result, we say that there is no solution. The original equation, which again we have here, there is no value of x that will make this true. So we say no solution. 